steering clear of these scams might seem easy, but the tactics of modern-day scammers should not be underestimated. You may already have won. How many scams start with these words? There is a new breed of scammers gaining popularity thanks to the wild swings in the cryptocurrency market. A vast researcher, Medek Vysinski, has tracked three different fake crypto exchanges with names such as Trader ESL, Forbid, and Coin SFV. Each is adept at using a variety of communication channels, including Discord crypto discussion channels, phishing emails, and SMS to lure in their victims. A typical crypto exchange scam email has been reproduced, showing that the come on is a promo code that needs to be redeemed quickly so that you can take part in the prize. You'll notice the typo in the image this misspelling and urgency should be your first tip-off that something is amiss. A typical come-on discussion group dialogue about fake crypto exchanges. The problem is that these crypto exchanges don't exist, except as a way to exchange your money to enrich some scam artist. Certainly, the lure of free cryptocurrency is very tempting and these scammers are very good at finding potential victims. They have designed some very professional-looking websites that include responsive designs, conversion rate details, and pages dedicated to tech support facts and trading history. Victims are even offered support for a smartphone two-factor authentication. Sign me up now! Not really. Avoiding scams isn't as easy as you might think. What crypto scammers are counting on is you will get caught up, like many folks do, in filling out the forms and going through a rather thorough know-your-customer process that will have you taking pictures of your driver's license, a selfie, and some other realism-enhanced documents. They say on their fraudulent pages that they need to do this to send you your prize money. Having you register for the promotion makes the scam seem all that more realistic. Just like using two-factor authentication, which some of these exchanges offer as a feature for your protection. And here is how crypto exchange scams take your money. There are a couple aspects of crypto exchange scams that catch victims off guard. First of, the registration process is clever. Rather than asking outright for you to send a payment, this process gets you more involved in the web of deception. What's more, the process isn't very clear. You don't know what other steps you need to take in order to obtain the amount of the promised winnings. They could ask for one more document to add to their database. All this information also makes the scam more valuable because the scammers can make use of and sell your data on the dark web that you so conveniently provided. Here are some things to watch out for. First of, if someone offers you free money or really anything of value, be skeptical. Anything that is too good to be true usually is. What's more, be aware of fraudulent news articles announcing these exchanges, such as the one shown. If you're unfamiliar with the site, take the time to vet it and ensure that it isn't part of a scammer's promotional network. Don't give anyone you don't know any of your private information, including your birth date, your photo, or banking information until you vet them using a neutral third party. Additionally, be careful about sending any government documents to someone that you don't know. Finally, if you are using Discord for either your business or own personal use, make sure you take some steps to secure its services. Set up two-factor authentication for your login and use the Keep Me Safe settings 
under the privacy and safety menu. Choose a more restrictive policy other than everyone on who can add you to their discussion groups. Furthermore, if you have corporate Slack or Microsoft Teams messaging accounts, you should use similar methods to secure them as well. Stay safe, stay secure, and don't buy any wooden nickels. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.